Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has died after being shot while delivering a speech in the city of Nara. Police said the attacker, identified as 41-year-old Yamagami Tatsuya, told investigators that he was dissatisfied with Abe and intended to kill him. The video of the attacker who shot Abe from behind had surfaced on social media. After the demise of former Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted, As a mark of our deepest respect for former Prime Minister Abe Shinzo, a one-day national mourning shall be observed on July 9, 2022. I am shocked and saddened beyond words at the tragic demise of one of my dearest friends, Shinzo Abe, he wrote. The Bharatiya Janta Party has won 102 out of 130 seats unopposed in the Gram Panchayat elections in Arunachal Pradesh. Other 14 seats were backed by Congress, National People's Party and independent candidates. Chief Minister Pema Khandu thanked all BJP supporters on Twitter and said, Congratulations and thanks to all Karyakartas, supporters and sympathizers. Senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram on Thursday said that the extreme unemployment situation in the country was the reason behind the Indian Air Force receiving 7.5 lakh applications under Agnipat scheme. Wrong conclusion, the Agnivir scheme is popular among youth. He tweeted, adding that the correct conclusion would be the unemployment which is driving desperate youth to take any job, he said. A Lucknow court has sentenced actor and Congress leader Raj Babar to two years in jail for assaulting a polling officer in 1996 while contesting from Samajwadi Party. Babar was convicted for voluntarily causing her to deter a public servant from performing his duty and three other offences. The court has also imposed a fine of Rs 8,500 on Raj Babar. The World Health Organization on Thursday said there was a 77% weekly increase in the number of monkeypox cases worldwide, taking the total caseload to over 6,000, which includes three deaths. The increase in cases was reported mostly from Europe and Africa. The health agency said the disease is mainly found among men who had sex with other men. American actor James Caan, known for playing Sonny Corleone in The Godfather, died aged 82. Jimmy was one of the greatest. Not only was he one of the best actors our business has ever seen, he was funny, loyal, caring and beloved, his manager Matt Del Piano said. James Caan, who also appeared in The Misery, Thief and Rollerball, which was an Oscar nominee as well. <laughs> 